Chef Jesenia and this is my little sister Maritza. So today I am going to show Maritza and you how to make pupusas. Pupusas are a traditional dish from El Salvador, which is where we're both from. We are going to learn how to make curtido, which is a pickled cabbage, and tomato sauce, everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. We have two fillings, quesillo and loroco, which is a traditional flour from El Salvador, and also zucchini and cheese. We're all gonna do this by hand, and we're gonna show you step by step how to get it done. So let's do it, let's go. The pupusa is as old as 2,000 years, created by the Pipil tribe in El Salvador. It was known as pupusawa, a Nahuatl word which was then changed to pupusas by the Spanish. And here's how we make the tomato sauce and the cortijo. On the real, we appear to get gone. Victory is ours. Bring the chip home. Galactic, and I'm looking to get more. Raise it up, see what you don't know. Running like the blood, pumping from the pressure of a dream in the rush. We crush whatever we touch. Where you been, y'all? Everyone know. And if you still don't get it, let it chill for a minute. Time is money, and trust me, man. I'm on business. And if you want something done, do your search and get it finished. Wake up, victory's mine. On top, still on the grind. Gotta go get it right now. Holla at me, with me. It's time. Take over God, we gon' make it Show the world that it's shining our greatness Keep it real, never gon' fake this Till we make it, till we make it Taking off, flying high like a spaceship Take control, take a shot, what you waiting for? Keep it real, never gon' fake this Till we make it, till we make it Second verse, I'm telling you I'm ready to go Letting you know, cause I'm never below The ones that I roll with are incredibly known For getting down to the nitty gritty If you really women, let's go Moves made, dues paid Most talk, but don't do a thing We certified, observe as I Come through and give a true display We champions, understand me Standing under a victory canopy Canopy, the enemy was here The keys ready to drive at top speed Let's get it out Wake up Okay, so we're gonna make the masa Which is the scary part Because it's from most yes. people um, we're using maseca, which is a dehydrated corn flour, and that is widely used in the United States because we're not grinding our own corn and we're not making our own fresh masa. So this will probably give us the, like, the best consistency yes. compared to like El Salvador. Exactly. So you're going to measure out one more cup of flour. I already put two in here. Um, I know our, our families, our tias, our grandmothers, our mothers, un poquito, un poquito de aquí, de they never measure. But we want to get this right and we want you to get it right. So I do this right away. Yes. Right. So level it. Once you become an expert, <laughs> so that's sorry. okay. We're cooking. You can make a mess. And you can tell who the cook is and who isn't. <laughs> so three cups of flour, okay? This is three cups of water. You may or may not use it all. You're gonna gradually put it in, but we also want a very flavorful masa. So we are going to add a little bit of oil. This is just something that I picked up along the way asking family members. That's about a teaspoon. Here, take a pinch of salt. Oh my God, you're gonna add a video again. <laughs> Go ahead. Is that good? A little more, like a, a generous pinch go ahead put it in there you want to flavor your flour so you're also going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon which is also in the sauce and that's you're trusting seasoning. me with the seasoning i trust you how's that so little by little is good what you're doing is great because if you need to adjust it you can adjust it as you go now how do you know can i yes yeah. so i'm going to start adding the water now, if you were by yourself, you'd be doing this all by yourself. You can add the water and start mixing. 
Now, because it's dehydrated flour, right, it's going to need to rest at least 15 minutes to half an hour, which is something that we did not do the first time we tried to make this recipe. <laughs> yeah. That was I a long know. Time I ago. <laughs> she lived upstairs and she calls me because the pupusas were cracking they were so dry were so dry so what we did is we added more oil and we ended yes. up with really greasy pupusas yeah because we added a, a lot of it like <laughs> i i honestly think that i thought the water was the trick and then you came up and you were like i think oil will do it and really and truly it needed the oil because i but didn't we put added it. way but we put way too, too much, much. So what you're doing is great. You're using one hand to really get in there. This is like a fun thing for kids to do also. When we were little, we didn't Later. we didn't grow up making pupusas. Maritza went out to eat pupusas. It was it was like a an outing affair. You don't I mean I'm I'm assuming a lot of moms make pupusas in El Salvador, but if you were going to have pupusas you were going out you were going to a restaurant because they're so time down. consuming so i connected with pupusas um when i visited my family in california my tias love making pupusas and so that's when i connected with them but they never taught me how to make it so we had to learn this as adults well i also think it's a thing where like every yeah, or every mom, it's like, I make the best pupusas. Exactly. And it's almost like they don't want to teach you the recipe right, until it's a secret. they're ready to pass it down themselves. Exactly. Maybe this is why, like, you don't see that many recipes for Right, pupusas. you don't see measurements. And when I ask, they're just like, add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that. In fact, this consistency kind of seems okay but because it's like play-doh right if you ever touch play-doh it stretches a little but it's still lumpy we don't want it to be lumpy mm -hmm. you also add a lot of love in here okay when people say add a little love what they really mean is you take the time to get it right to get it right don't rush through food and I think that that's where you know the moms and the aunts and the sisters and whoever is a caretaker really cares about what they're putting out that's what they do yeah, so but what do you think about the, what this. do you think about the consistency it's actually a lot more moist than it was before yes so i'm going to taste it this is uncooked masa, masa. but the corn is cooked so it's not going to make you sick if you taste it okay so it's safe yes yeah, so i love building layers in my food and that's what the Amwana told me. Make sure your masa is flavorful, it has salt. So that then it goes well with your filling, it goes well with your curtido, and it goes well with your sauce. It just all works together, right? Oh, that's nice. You did a really good well. day. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to make two fillings, okay? So traditionally, so like keep grating, we are using quesillo, which is a cheese that's actually directly from El Salvador. So is, it, is this like the traditional cheese that yes, they... Yes, it is. And if you could see it, it is yellow, right? Because it has that whole fat. Yes, actually, when I tasted it... I there's a crema, a cream, it's yes, like a sour it cream. It brings you back to we your got, childhood pupusas. It literally tastes like crema in cheese form. Exactly. So it is really hard to find in the United States unless you live near a Salvadoran population or community that sells this kind of stuff. If you can't find quesillo, you're going to have to use a mozzarella. You need a cheese that melts. Right? Right. Because we put that stretch out. You love that cheese. You love that cheese on the outside. It's nice you and brown see it. it. Pull. You want to see, see it pull. So. But how, how do you deal with the whole flavor situation of mozzarella? So with mozzarella, it's, it's important that you use a combination. You can't just use mozzarella. So today we're going to do two fillings. We're going to do one that the Ahuana actually 
taught me when I went to El Salvador about 10 years ago is to make zucchini. So use any vegetables that you have. Pipian is known as pipian zucchini, right? You'll see this on the menus at restaurants as pipian. But it's really a type of zucchini that I shredded. We're going to saute this zucchini so that we can take all the water out and then mix it with the cheese. We gotta add some flavor to the zucchini, mm. okay? The second filling we're going to do is, this is actually your first time ever, ever seeing this. Loroco. Yes, well, seeing it in this form, as the far natural, as- natural. It's natural form. The way I know Loroco to be is frozen. Right. Like I do have a comes, frozen packet in my it comes freezer. Packaged, pre-packaged. It's usually frozen. I don't know if it's grown. I mean, I don't know how it's grown in this country, but no, um, it's imported. So it's imported from El Salvador. But um, I've never, I never knew that that's so, what that looked like. So we're lucky that we live near Long Island, and Long Island has a lot of delis and small businesses and supermarkets that actually carry all of these ingredients because there's a large Salvadoran population in Long Island. Mm -hmm. So like in Washington, D.C., also those states that have these Salvadoran populations, you'll see all of these type of ingredients. But adjustments are to use mozzarella or even Monterey Jack, which has nice spicy peppers. Love using Monterey Jack with pepper jack. I combine wow. those two cheeses and I get something similar to okay. this. But you know, we're in the United States, we have to be creative with what we have to tie back to the flavors that we know. Right. So right. let's get into doing both of these fillings and then you and I are going to make pupusas. Oh my God. You can pretty much make pupusas with any filling at all. Any I mean, filling. You were talking about the Aglantis making shrimp and cheese pupusas, which is a combination that most people are well, no, I, to me, that was the very first time that I realized that a pupusa does not need to have chicharron, beans, and cheese. Exactly. It, to me, right. that's the classic pupusa. Traditional. A revuelta, which will have those three things. Pork. Right? Or, you know, a cheese or a bean or any combination of those. When I heard that she made shrimp pupusas, I'm like, I'm, what? <laughs> what is that? Let me have some, obviously. Um, and they're delicious, which really and truly was the first time that I realized whatever you like can go into the masa. Okay, so let's start making our pupusas. The dough is perfect. Why don't you try and feel it? Stick your fingers in there. It's the right consistency. It's actually all really even. Yes. So it's been sitting for about half an hour. Okay. So to make your pupusas, you're gonna dip your fingers in a bowl that I put some vegetable oil in, spread it on your hands, you're right. Okay, so now you're gonna grab some masa, the size of a golf ball, maybe even a little smaller. You're gonna end up with pupusas about four inches wide. Now this is the personal. Some people love huge pupusas, huge. Some people like them small, some people like them thick, some people like them close, like you were saying. Some people like the cheese oozing out. Yeah, some people don't like anything to come out of the masa, and people like me love when the cheese is like oozing out and, and it's, it's crusty. crusty. It's crispy. And it's like, oh, it's so good. So it's a personal thing, but it doesn't mean that it's not right. As long as it's delicious, I don't think I care. That's exactly how I feel. So form a crater in your hand, maybe cup your left hand a little bit to form a hole. Okay. Then put in about two tablespoons, eyeballing it, a filling. So you have the zucchini and cheese, and I have the loroco, which is the traditional Salvadoran flour. Which smells delicious. Amazing. And tastes so good. Oh my God. Fresh, I think, I mean, you know, the packaged one still smells good, but this is just a whole different smell, world. This amazing. So good. So now you're going to, you see the oil really helps in handling the dough. Now you're going to close it like a dumpling. Okay. 
and you just have to round it. You don't need to overwork it. What happens when your hands are too hot, it starts melting the cheese and the dough might break. Okay, so form a bowl. Then start flattening it. So now is this the only way to flatten it? No, so some people, I've seen some pupuserias, people put, um, mostly ladies make pupusas. I've seen one guy make pupusas. Uh, they put some saran wrap on the counter, the table, and they put the ball that you had filled and they start flattening with their hands. It's a way of making them faster because you know they're making it for a lot of people and they're making mm. 300, 400 pupusas yeah. a day. But since we're, we have time, why not? Do it with our hands the way I've seen our family do it. So basically you wanna get them round. When you get them round, you wanna use your fingers to shape it. Take some time. Round it even. This no, is, I, I would say this is your first few times that you've made these. And I want you to be confident at getting them right. So take your time. Yes. So see, nice round this. I eat them, so. About four inches. Okay. Okay. That's the size we're gonna make them. That's the thickness I like. I I prefer mine on the thinner end. Beautiful. So what do you say? Why don't we start grilling these? Let's go. go. <laughs> Let's watch her do it. really nice and toasty this is like exactly How what I like would go it? for yes and now you're gonna put the curtido on top mm -hmm. a very generous amount of curtido yes don't judge me <laughs> some fresh tomato sauce I'm so excited right now <laughs> you can not believe <laughs> yes I can you work very hard for these yes I enjoy yeah I'm going to enjoy mine well, uh, okay, so you grab the whole thing. I, on the other hand, kind of like to cut pieces, grab some curtido, grab some salsa. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. These are perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so good. Took us a long time to get here. <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> this is delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have more. I'm gonna, eat I'm gonna that try one first. <laughs> Listen, I work for these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. Oh, <laughs> All we need to <laughs> take it, like right now. <laughs> take it. Yeah. I can feel. 